hi and hello everyone uh, welcome back to this pmp exam they are more focused towards totally traditional methods we have for sure learned about uh, this agile methodology but we have not actually understood this concept much in depth about half of our pmp exam is going to have questions from agile and hybrid approaches so i strongly believe that we should all focus on the mindset of this agile methodology or agile approach with some you know extra additional care so let us try and understand about this uh, new agile methodology w what this agile is okay so this is just a bit about uh, uh, agile methodology I'll, i'll give a short introduction and then we'll get started with each section so agile methods they are not additional process keep this in mind agile is not even a process so don't get confused that we have traditional processes and then we have agile management processes no agile management is just an approach to do all those 49 processes that we have learned so far they are the same processes whatever you have learned it is still valid when pmp says that they are asking 50% of the questions in agile way it's it's only about the mindset how you will approach to answer this in agile methodology so agile is again not a single approach right it's a housing or it's a umbrella of multiple agile approaches let me explain you with a simple illustration so as you can see here kanban methodology that we have learned uh, before uh, if you remember that there was a board the to do list and then the progress list and then block list and then the final list that kanban board which uses sticky notes even that is an agile process so similarly scrum is one of the agile processes so similarly we have extreme programming we have uh, crystal versions we have agile unified processes we have development method called the dsdm so we have feature driven development all these systems they are agile methods right so agile is not just a single process uh, it's not a single method it's a grouping or you know it's an umbrella term for all these mindsets so with that understood i think let's quickly understand how we are going to proceed with this class because until now we have discussed on uh, a set methodology like we have discussed first outputs and then we have discussed inputs and then we have discussed the tools and technologies here we are not going to discuss the topic in this way because as i said these are not the processes that we are going to learn here we are going to learn the agile mindset how we should start thinking away from the traditional methodology and how we should change our mindset to agile way of thinking right now the questioning is 50% but uh, who knows maybe in the coming exams in the next year or the next year the complete pmp exam could be in agile management so a lot of companies are following this agile management and uh, before we move on let me give you a brief about the history of this agile management agile management was started focusing the it sector all the software developers the project management within the it sector that was the first target for agile management but now it is slowly being uh, accepted by uh, a lot of other industries right so manufacturing production automobile all of these industries they are accepting agile management because the thinking or or the approach is quite flexible we get much more better results with agile management we will understand about this in depth so first thing is agile methodology where i'll take you through a lot of new agile items and basically introduce uh, to the agile way of working whatever i gave you an introduction about so we will understand how different it is from the traditional approaches and then we will go ahead and define the scrum scrum is nothing but you know a set of rules and practices uh, which are based on three key pillars what are those three key pillars we, we have transparency we have inspection we have adaptation we'll know uh, and understand about this scrum in depth in the lesson to come and then the last step is the roles and responsibility so who is the product owner who is the scrum master who is the development team right so how different they are from the stakeholders are they the same or not so such things we will learn in roles and responsibilities so let's quickly get started agile methodology so being agile what does being agile mean being agile means you know building things in increments okay so traditionally what happens is in traditional project management methodology the things are built as a whole or the results are known only at the end of the project but in agile there is incremental feedback that we keep on receiving about the project status 
so it's a set of small progressive steps which gives us continuous feedback about the status of this bigger task right we can consider that there is a huge task and then we can divide that into a smaller task just like the wbs work breakdown structure so these smaller tasks uh, as we keep on finishing them they keep on adding the progress of the complete project so what happens in the traditional waterfall methodology approach is that the end customer or even for that matter the stakeholder who is working on the project they are always in the dark right they don't know about the end result what is going to happen at the end of the project whether my project is going to succeed whether is it going to fail uh, is it going to ask for any changes in my project so there is no clear cut idea until we totally finish the product in traditional methodology but this agile method it's totally opposite it gives us feedback about the direction of the project path continuously so how can we expand better like take an example of we driving on a highway and we want to or we intend to take a turn so traditional method gives us you know just a hard left or a hard right because there is no sign board that is warning us to take the hard right so you can imagine how difficult it is going to be when we are just driving at 90 and then we have to take a hard right turn right it's it's too disturbing and troubling but the agile method is like having all those road signs having the smoother curve to the right or to the left so the gliding smoothly having the road banking so anything that makes our process smoother and anything which continuously gives us feedback like those sign boards like there is a curve ahead so that's the basic difference about uh, the traditional methodology and uh, the agile methodology all right so let's get into this 